Today, up-and-coming artist Kinu Hale is showcasing his art exhibit at Princeton University. Afterwards, we decided to ask him a couple questions about his art and his inspiration. Well, we're here at Princeton University. It's me and my cousin Kinu and also my older brother Khalil here. Today was a very successful day. How, how, you, like, how, how did it feel? How did it feel? Were you know, nervous? Yeah, like, were you nervous? Like, how was the autographing and all that? Did you feel like, you know, like, I, I really came a long way? Like, cause, you know, looking back at the big portrait that you had sitting there on the back wall with the wild pets and the oil pastel painting that you did and then looking, you know, around like, dang, like, like did, it, did, did you get any, like, you know, type of... Remin like any like memory or reminiscent of like you know your past and where you are today and how you're here at this Ivy League school uh, showcasing your art. Like, how did that feel? And I'm not gonna lie, I I felt like crying, but mostly yeah. I held back. I held back because like this is my day. I'm not gonna spoil everyone's day with crying. So. <laughs> yeah, I, and I appreciate everyone I knew and love for coming out. And they shook their hands and, you know, and had a good time with them, you know, liking my artwork. And it really meant a lot. Guys, I see that you have two big inspirations that balance out your artwork, which is Tim Burton and Mr. the late Jim Henson. And, yeah. The creator of the Muppets. Mostly I have a liking towards dark humor and I saw that a lot in Tim Burton's work. And it made me want to make stories that are like dark and brooding but still have kind of like a bouncy type of you know humor you know there's always sunny days out there and I wanted to show that in my work as well. The style you draw is very you know alive like cartoony you know very original but have you ever thought about like you know anime or you know reality-ish? Mostly with style, I, I never hesitate to learn, you know, a different style mm -hmm. because every style speaks to people in a different way and it speaks True. to me, you know, True. in a different way too. And I mm -hmm. want to experience while making characters, original characters of mine in different types of styles, okay. different ways I can. You know, so I write poetry and I do other stuff. You know, I'm a little creative and the little things that I do and I just I, I just get really stuck sometimes and I wouldn't say that you don't, I don't, I don't see you get stuck, but every time I see you, it just always seems like you always have something else new. Like, how, how, do, you, how do you keep your drive and your imagination so strong? I just uh, easily stay in touch with my inner child because like, Mm. All artists, they have an inner child, and sometimes they forget that. They forget that in life when they, you know, reach the top and they, you know, sometimes tumble. Mm. So I try to, you know, be in touch with the things that used to make me smile and laugh and, you know, and just made me have a good time, like uh, watching, you know, Saturday cartoons in the morning. Mm-hmm. Where them Saturday cartoons, WB11? Yeah. Woo! Remember them WB11 days, yo, uh, Pokemon, you had Digimon. <laughs> when you started drawing, <laughs> okay. did you start off with pen or pencil? Because I see that you draw, you still draw with the pen. Basically, first it was crayon, then, mm. then I moved up to marker. And then, mm. and then you know, when I discovered my utensil, I uh, mostly like pen because it stayed, it never smudges mm. as much. That even if I make mistakes, I just keep going. You keep going? Yeah, okay. and just hmm. learn from my mistakes. So I, th I think having the pen in my hand, it kind of taught me my errors, mm. and I learned from those errors. So that's why I never mess up in most of my books. You wouldn't, so you wouldn't go to the pencil, not even the mechanic? No. Wow. I don't know how long we can ramble and scramble, you know. Unique Tales of Hell.com. Check it out. Google it. Unique art, all that. We selling books. Life in the suburbs is out. Also, Ken, I wanted to ask you, um, are you gonna put that book in color? Cause I see it in black and white and I was thinking to myself I would like it in color. Me personally, I would like it in color. If the second book comes out and it's a success, we'll color it that in. Okay, cool. Well, you heard it here first. Next book will be in color. This book, Life in Suburbs, catch it.
talesofhell.com. You can buy the book. It's $20 right now. I don't know if the price may go up, might go down. We don't know, but we, we only going up over here, baby. Okay? Peace, love, and art. Thank you.